Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 23rd, 2021. Well, we had a nice little re relief rally yesterday, but we still have quite a little bit to resolve on the technical front. So how about we settle into our office chairs, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Yesterday, we saw a nice little bump, a nice little relief rally that extended pretty far, and then we pulled back after that FOMC um, decision where they're going to taper sometime they don't tell us when and interest rates um, are probably a year away um, interest rate increases are probably a year away market just kind of had a ho-hum reaction to that yesterday um, rallying up nicely but also pulling back into the close let's take a look we have a downtrend break here in or an uptrend break here in the chart. And we rallied up toward that. We're rallying up toward price resistance here in the Dow. And this morning we're looking to gap up this morning. You probably heard that Evergrande situation seems to have been smoothed over in China. Um, essentially China has decided they're gonna nationalize the company. And um, the questions still remain as to what is going to, if, if the contagion, I guess, has spread to other comp companies. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But essentially that has smoothed over here this morning. Let's take a look. We also have a downtrend here in uh, the chart on the diamonds. And so we have this point here in the chart that could provide us a little bit of problems right here. We kind of have that conjunction of all that resistance here in the chart. So watch that closely. That could easily be the battleground here in um, the market this morning. And let's take a look. That uh, doesn't even come close yet to reaching up here toward that 50-day moving average failure. So we still have all of this resistance of our technicals here in the chart that we still have to deal with on the Dow. So the relief rally is nice, but it's not it's not going to be smooth sailing, um, I suspect, all the way back up. We will have some bearish challenges here along the way. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. SPY rallying nicely yesterday and is trying to follow through this morning. As you can see, this is a pre-market candle. So we're pushing back up into these resistance levels in the chart. And we still have this downtrend that we have to contend with, that pesky little downtrend that we have to contend with as we move along. Keep Also keep in mind we've got some additional resistance levels in here. There, uh, It's not going to be easy sailing, but we may have a better chance here than we do in the Dow simply because of big tech. Now, keep an eye on this area right in here. This is where we could run into that battleground with the bulls and the bears. There could be a little bit of fight in this range right here. So watch carefully for that. And we know that we have our 50-day moving average above and we're trying to gap up toward that today. One of my favorite shorting patterns, guys, is a failure below the 50, a rally back to that area where we have this uh, little bit of technical resistance here with our moving averages. And then we look for that potential failure here at that 50 day moving average. Now I'm not suggesting that's going to happen, but I will be watching for that possibility and I will be watching this trend, this downtrend carefully because we could see that the bears actually step up and fight right in this area so watch carefully for that and then let's take a look at our nasdaq our qqq the strongest index of the bunch pushing back up here and as you can see we 
yesterday we pushed up into that resistance and just held on to it by a tiny little bit held on to uh, that as a new support level and we're trying to gap through this morning we have an additional level of price resistance right through here as you can see and we still have this downtrend that needs to be defeated so right in this area is where we could see that battle with the bears um, if they're going to challenge here in the chart. Also keep in mind that yesterday we challenged that 50 day, didn't quite make it through there. This morning we're trying to gap through it as we push up here into that price resistance and downtrend. So watch this area right here. This is where the bears might decide they're going to fight. So watch carefully for that. And then let's take a look at our IWM. IWM had a good day yesterday with a nice move that actually pushed back above its 50, but ended up settling right back down. And then this morning we're trying to gap up. And one of the reasons we had that move I mentioned yesterday was because the oil sector stocks got a nice boost with a decline in supplies. So pushed up here just a little bit. We'll want to watch that closely. But let's keep in mind, guys, we have tons, I mean a year's worth of price resistance up here above and a downtrend here in this chart that still needs to be defeated. Um, that's a, a year's worth of entanglement here in that congestion. So watch carefully for that, whether or not we're going to be able to push through or not. Let's take a look at our VIX. The old VIX. The old VIX finally pulled back yesterday. It was nice to see that happening. We needed that relief in the fear. And as you can see, we've now pushed down and we're breaking uh, possibly breaking in this morning's gap down should break this uh, trend, should break it to the downside. But keep in mind, we still have this upside trend going on as well in the VIX. Still holding above that 20 handle. And if you guys remember, that 20 handle is where we have a pretty significant level of support or resistance. So it's going to be, and it travels all the way back here, we're going to need to um, break down through that um, and try to um, push on lower here. So if we can push on lower and push down um, into that downtrend area or that uptrend area, push down into here, um, we could see that possible hold right in this area. And that's where we could run into that little bit of a bearish push back. We'll have to wait and see, but a little bit of a challenge here in the VIX still and a little bit of a question mark still going on. Let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio, and we pushed up dramatically yesterday from that oversold condition, and we were kind of expecting that. But we also have to expect when we continue this push this morning, we could easily gap up here and be in a overbought condition just that quickly. So in a two day move being from oversold to overbought, we run that potential where those bears could decide, hey, it's time to pull back or some profit taking come in in that chart. So let's watch this here as we push up into that area. We could be right back into that overbought condition with technicals and overhead resistance above. Watch for that carefully and closely. Let's also take a look at our T21. 07. This is the percentage of stocks that are above their 200 day moving average. And although we had a nice um, um, lift on that yesterday, which we've definitely needed, we've been way, way oversold in uh, this um, indicator. Notice that um, the downtrend still has not been broken. As a matter of fact, there's some price resistance right here in that chart that still needs to be challenged and broken. Perhaps we can do that in the next day or two, but this is still an awful lot of ugly charts in the market. That's only 41% of the stocks are above their 200 day moving average. Not a good sign overall. So keep a close eye on that. If this rallies up in here and crosses above and holds some support, then we have that opportunity that we could really start improving in this market. But watch that resistance area carefully for that potential. We find some more sellers. Let's take a look at our T2101. 
T2101 um, is the absolute market breadth. And although we had that nice push up, we really didn't get a big elevation in the market breadth. Not a major problem, but notice we're right back up here. We're holding into some of that resistance here in that chart and um, that market breadth could um, easily begin to sink back down as we start to rally. So watch that closely. Um, we, we would need a little bit more strength here possibly, but watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And we do have a couple of potential stumbling blocks this morning that we'll want to pay attention to. These doggone pesky jobless claims um, continue to come in here every week and um, potentially throw a monkey wrench into things. So we're looking bullish this morning. However, we have pulled back a little bit from those morning highs. And I'm guessing it's because there's still just that uncertainty about these jobless claims coming out before the market opens. So keep a close eye on that. Now consensus is suggesting that they will decline, that there'll be fewer folks filing for claims this morning. But they said that last time as well, and we saw that increase. So watch that carefully and closely this morning. We know that we're running into a slowing economy, that it's becoming more and more challenging for businesses to hire because of the inflationary factors. That could certainly start to creep into the jobless claims. So keep a close eye on that. We cannot just rule out that all of a sudden everything changes and goes bullish. Watch that carefully. These are stumbling blocks. And then we have that PMI composite number. That could be interesting this morning as well. Um, keep a close eye on that. Certainly could move the market around. Consensus is suggesting that it comes in about 55, excuse me, about 55 and a half, which um, we will have to wait and see how that actually um, comes out in the reading. So watch that carefully. And then we do have later on today, we have natural gas report. Don't expect the market to care. And we have the Fed balance sheet. And we know we don't care about that approaching eight and a half trillion dollars of federal debt. We don't care. Keep printing. The market loves it, loves it. And then um, as you're planning forward, uh, notice tomorrow we've got just a um, a slew of Fed speakers, including um, Jerome Powell, and we're going to have new home sales over here as well. So as you're planning ahead, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. In our earnings calendar today, we have our biggest day this week. We have 23 companies listed. A good deal of those are um, unconfirmed reports, but of the confirmed reports, we do have some notables that we want to pay attention to today. How about DRI? DRI reporting this morning with a big pop here. Look at Darden restaurants. Woo! Big surge. And I'm guessing part of that is because last year was so horrible. They are seeing um, some good response back here. So keep an eye on DRI. We've got um, AIR reporting today. We've got CAN reporting today. We'll hear from Camp. We will hear from Costco. Costco. We will hear from RAD. We will hear from TCOM. And we're going to hear from MTN as well. So, oh, PRGS as well. So keep a close eye on those guys. We're going to have um, a few of those reports moving the market around this morning. Um, so, you know, obviously we've got some of those notables in there like Nike. Did I mention Nike? We've got Darden, Nike, Costco. Those are some pretty big um stocks that can move the market around a little bit and certainly much more notable than we've seen here recently. Um, so let's keep a close eye on those. Then let's take a look at our economic, or excuse me, we've already looked at that economic calendar. How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today? And before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. And also, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if you find these videos to be useful, please click that thumbs up button and 
and leave a brief comment. I truly appreciate it. Hey, just a warning out there, guys. We've got some, I've got some kind of a scammer attacking uh, the channel. If you happen to receive a message that says it's from me, Right Way Options, and it's a WhatsApp contact, do not click on that. Do not use it. Do not try to contact that person, whoever it is. There's always those evildoers out there on the market trying to cling to someone else's work. And um, um, Google is working on this for me. We're going to hunt this, whoever this is down and um, get rid of it. But please understand, guys, don't do that. I don't have a WhatsApp. I will never send you anything like that. And as you guys know, I don't use this channel for selling stuff. So keep and keep a close eye on that. If you happen to receive those messages, just ignore them. Um, as a matter of fact, do me a favor and report them. I would appreciate that. So with that, everyone, hey, um, let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and let's um, see whether or not we can find some information or some stocks here that we might be interested in for today. Remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security and you have to do your own due diligence in these charts. Now, first off, I'm going to mention energy. Um, energy is trying really hard here and there are stocks in that energy sector starting to look better. Take a look, we have the XLE sector trying to push up into this downtrend and we've got some stocks trying to poke out in, in that index. If we look up in here, take a look at like OKE. OKE pushing up, breaking some of these um, trends, trying to move higher. We do have this little downtrend in here that we're trying to get through, but we've got also got stocks like Devon trying to poke itself out. Notice we're trying to bust through some resistance areas in the chart. We've got Halliburton trying to come up. We've got EOG. Take a look at EOG in here, breaking this downtrend, putting in higher lows trying to break through. So keep an eye on some of these energy stocks. It may start to recover here in energy. You might also want to take a look at some of the retail. Um, little retail seems to be doing, and I shouldn't say little, but a Lulu. Take a look at Lulu. I mentioned this yesterday, and it did follow through to the upside yesterday. So Lulu, we love those stretchy pants apparently, and they're moving up here pretty nicely. So keep a close eye on that. Lulu looking very good. And I also uh, mentioned Crocs. I also mentioned Crocs yesterday, and that is also continuing to do very, very well. So watch that closely here. We do have some of those bullish charts looking pretty darn nice and moving up in the charts. Let's take a look at Intel. Now, Intel has been struggling along a downtrend here. We had a pattern in this chart that I was kind of hopeful was going to get things moving. There's that inverted head and shoulders pattern. But we got into this volatility of this downtrend and kind of broke that back down. But notice we're recovering once again. We're recovering right back above that area in here. So let's keep an eye. If we can actually push this up and hold in here, um, Intel may start to recover. It may be one of those big techs that's been really sold off heavily and could be a good value play um, amidst, all, amidst all the other techs um, rallying pretty hard. So watch that closely. You might also want to take a look at some of the other retailers out there. You know, Macy's making a really good move here. Notice how we have moved up strongly. We're trying to break those downtrends, hold support in here. This is that tried and true pattern, which by the way, guys, I will get to that video. Um, there's a, uh, a new scan in the LTA scanner that um, highlights this pattern and can find this pattern. And um, I'm just way behind on my videos getting stuff out here. So keep a close eye on that. There is that opportunity here for um, Macy's to move on through to the upside. Watch that closely. Um, if you take a look at... Um, um, Dick Sporting Goods. Dick Sporting Goods is also holding up quite well. 
um, in the chart and we're, we're just seeing a, a, quite a few of those retailers trying to come back around looking pretty good not to mention Costco that is reporting its earnings today keep a close eye on that that could certainly help that retail sector if it reports well so there's a few stocks for you to take a look at um, I got to tell you, there's a lot of stocks just rallying right back up to their resistance levels. And those resistance levels can be very, very dangerous here in the market. I would not rule out the possibility that those bears will fight back a little bit more this time because they got pretty feisty in this sell-off. And we still have this um, um, debt ceiling coming that uh, there's a battle getting ready to form up in the Senate on the debt ceiling. The House passed the debt ceiling suspension, but the Senate doesn't look like they're willing to go for it. And so we still have this battle. We still have these problems out here that could really create some fluctuation in market sentiment. So be very, very careful. Watch those resistance levels as we rally. Take an example of Apple. Um, Apple rallying back up. Very nice rally here in Apple. But let's take a look at this chart. If we take a look at the technicals of this chart, we're pushing back up right into that 50-day moving average here this morning. Notice that 34 exponential has crossed down. We already have our 8 exponential down and we cannot rule out this big level of price resistance in the chart. So we have that potential here, that blue ice failure pattern where we rally here in Apple back to that 50 and we could see that failure on down. So we're right in those areas where those kind of things could occur, especially if we get that sentiment shift, perhaps a bad jobless claims number, perhaps a debt ceiling that um, we could run into um, a major battle there. Um, all of these different things, the Evergrande thing kind of spilling over into other companies. So watch that carefully. We may still have these humps and bumps um, in the market. And with these overhead resistance levels, we want to be very, very careful and not just blindly chasing into trades. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all just a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And I will see you back here bright and early tomorrow morning for the Friday report but then I will be gone the rest of the day. I'm going to head out and do some hiking here while the weather's still holding up. So everyone take care. Have an awesome day. I want to wish you all the very, very best, and we'll see you early tomorrow morning. Take care, everyone.